Hi guys, this is Rodrigo with Aesthetic of Solutions and in this video I wanted to show you the difference between an administrator and a regular member of the website. So if I log into the website as an administrator with my login and password, I can actually um, create a new user here in the Users tab. Um, you can see that I already created Caroline, so I'm just going to delete her for uh, so that you see the process again. She was deleted successfully. We're going to create a new user plus uh, username we can give her whatever we want as long as it's not already existing in the database I'm gonna send you her password by email and uh, it's very important that we check here the admin privileges checkbox it's um, it basically makes a difference between an administrator and a member we can actually add a new member this way as well without checking this box and later add uh, shipping and billing information for this person uh, in case you know somebody was calling in and you were doing that manually for them or editing their information um, either way um, let's continue we're gonna add her the rest of her information we're gonna add this new user and now uh, she's been created successfully which means that she has access to the back end the full back end of the website one, two, three, four. Oops, that's not her password. I'm gonna mail it to you. I remember I changed it for her. Um, so there we go. Now we can, you know, she can do everything that Jamie can do. Um, so that's for administrator you administrating users, and uh, we're gonna move on to the regular website members. So if I was a regular member, I was just uh, you know browsing through the site. I'm gonna add a product that I know uh, works well with the shipping algorithm um, we're gonna give him a name and I'm just gonna auto fill here I'm gonna change the email that's actually that's fine never mind uh, we're gonna get the shipping cost that takes a couple minutes and here we have some options I'm gonna select that update and continue same as shipping Wait and continue and now here's what I'm talking about on the left on the right side you have the option to become a member so in this case my example is just John I'm gonna give him a password um, here's my order as you can see I have added the additional notes um, so if I want to give another message to the person I can type it right there and finally, we'll enter the credentials for John's credit card, and this is just a test again. So we're going to go with 04, 15, 014, 1234, complete your order. It's going to take some time. It's going to tell me thank you. And uh, you can see now that there's more verifications right here. Transaction has been completed successfully. You register into the website. A registration email was sent your way so we're gonna check that we're gonna go to my uh, Gmail account and you can see that here I have the welcome email for the site registration and the order itself as you can see I also added the payment information to the receipt I forgot to do that earlier but um, anyways that's it for members and users I hope you find this useful as always and thanks for watching.